Okay, parents, today we are going to work on word problems. I know that a lot of children have been having issues with it. Um, we do have to visualize it. We have to kind of see it in our heads. Sometimes it just takes time. But I'm going to show you the process of how we do it. So first of all, I'm going to read this to you because I don't know if you can see it on the board. It says a tree farm has 274 maple trees, 310 oak trees, and 46 pine trees. Then it says, uh, how can you tell if the number of maple trees and pine trees together is greater than the number of oak trees? So I always tell them, what do we need to find out first? Okay, uh, first of all, what do we know? We know there's 274 maple trees. So I'll write 274 maple. And I always tell them to write it out. Then we know there's 310 oak trees. So I'll write 310 oak. Then we also know there's 46 pine trees. So I will write out 46 pine. Now it asks us how do we know if the number of maple trees and pine trees together is greater than the number of oak trees. Well, so let's look right here, maple trees, I'll underline that. So we know we need maple trees and pine trees, which is 46 pine trees. It says, how do we know that those two together is greater than the number of oak trees? Well, then I ask them, okay, if we need to know if these two together is greater than oak trees, what do we need to do with the maple trees and pine trees? We need to put them together. See, that is the key word we're looking for, together. That means addition. So we're going to take 274 plus the 46. And of course, we're going to box it in. 4 plus 6 is 10. We write down the 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. We carry the 1. So we have 320 maple trees and pine trees together. Now it says, how do we know it's greater than the number of oak trees? Well, we look at it. We have 320. And how many oak trees do we have? We have 310. Now we can look at it and compare. We know right away which one has more. The maple trees and pine trees together. But we want to know how many more. So we'll subtract. We know it's 10 more. Okay, now this is the process we go through as we're doing word problems and we have to underline, write down everything, circle the clues together. So normally when you have a word problem, the clues that you'll see is all together, in all, or added up. Those are our clues we're looking for in the word problems. When it comes to subtraction problems, it will usually say how many more, how many less. So you have to look for those key phrases in our word problems.